Hello amigos, my name is Jatin and welcome to my channel Techie Raters. In this video, I'll show you what happens if you by mistake overwrite or delete the slash etc slash fs tab file in your Linux machine. As when you are in learning phase, you might be sometime overwrite or delete any file by mistake and after that some of you might reinstall your Kali machine. But in this video, I'll show you what I show you that how to configure or rebuild or recreate slash etc slash fs tab file if by mistake you delete it or override it in your Kali machine without reinstalling your Kali machine. So if you want to know that, watch the full video and let's get started. So now open your terminal and you need to first check what is in the slash etc slash fs tab file. Let's run cat slash etc slash fs tab and you see all the configuration related to mounting point and all the configuration entries related to permanent mount of a partition are listed in the slash etc slash fs tab file. So for so you know how important is slash etc slash fs tab file and by chance if you deleted or overwrite this file you can't able to boot your system or by chance if you the system able to boot you can't have read permission write permission on your system so you can't do anything and first thing if you didn't watch my previous two videos or you don't know how to create a partition or how to mount partition then you can't understand this video properly so watch my previous two videos on how to create partition or how to mount partition to understand this video properly as this video is a continuation of previous two videos so let's start it with what happen if you delete or override the slash it is slash fs tab file so Let's say you are trying to mount a partition by this command as I showed you in the previous video. DA1 that's a let's say any partition. We don't take any particular create any particular partition for that. And in previous video we use double with the greater than sign and slash etc slash fs tab file by this you can append the slash etc slash fs tab file with the following entry following command but what if by chance or by mistake you and only single greater than sign if you run this command let's see what happened is a slash fs tab file it override the slash etc slash fs tab file and now with this situation you can't if you by chance reboot your system after that your system can't boot so what let's say see, understand two situations now you override your etc fs tab file and didn't reboot your system so for that just run the command blkid and let's first check which is your boot partition vda1 is a boot partition so kid slash tab slash vda1 and slash etc slash fs tab file so we are overwriting the fs tab file by writing the entry tab slash vda1 that is a boot partition enter it and now vim slash etc slash f step now i and you need to correct the syntax or you can say you can mount this partition permanently slash just use the following syntax to mount it again 
if you don't know the syntax watch my previous video i explained the syntax in the my previous video error is equal to remount hyphen arrow zero one and save this file enter now you can simply reboot your system and check if it is rebooting or not so at this time your system can easily or normally reboot because we by chance deleted the file and deleted the fsdf file and recreate the fsdf file by mounting the partition again but and one thing you can mount other partition after that because that's are not so important for booting of the system only slash partition only the mount, mount only the partition that is mounted to slash is important to boot the partition boot the system so now blkid slash dev slash st vda1 and slash etc slash ff enter and now reboot you see at this situation you can't able to boot your system your system stuck at the black screen let's wait until it reboot wait for few seconds and you see what happen if you delete the fsdf file or override the fsdf file you see you got the blank screen you can't do anything here or if by chance you press alt f1 there is nothing happening so at this point you need to forcefully restart your system so let's forcefully restart your system Oh, you see, by pressing Alt F1, it responds late. So let's log in and wait. The system is working slow at this point. Let's wait for a few more seconds. At this point, if after the system start properly, you can't able to. run the command that used to that won't write permission let's say you can only as run the ls command mkdi when you try to mkdi a can't create directory a read only file system you can't configure or can't <coughs> change the entries in slash it is slash fs type file enter let's say i and you can't able to write it so quit and now reboot your system press e you can do this as edit the slash it is slash fsd file by going into the single user mode how to enter into single user mode i showed it in my previous video so if you don't understand the step let's watch my previous video control x and wait for the single user mode to open <coughs> now single user mode is open now you need to run the command dlkit slash tab slash pt a1 greater than sign in slash etc slash fs tab enter vim slash etc slash fs tab enter just do the same step as i showed you when in the you are in the situation you didn't reboot your system just if by chance reboot your system enter into single user mode and follow the same step errors is equal to remount hyphen arrow 
0, 1. Save and exit. Now, after you exit, if your system doesn't start, restart it forcefully. Or wait for the system to restart. I restarted the system forcefully. And wait for the end result. Let's wait for a few seconds. And you can see the system can reboot properly. You see? can now mount other remaining partition as that partition so that you can run your task smoothly how to you can run dlk id and <coughs> mount all the partition listed below <coughs> so this is the end of the video now if you stuck in a situation when you deleted the slash fs etc slash fsf file you can follow these steps and run your system smoothly so this is the end of the video if you like my video do hit the like button and don't follow don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon do subscribe to my channel techie data so now bye bye